Hey Cortana, tell Xbox to turn on. Powering up. I won't lie to you, I'm surprised that worked first time. Hey there guys, Zach here for Windows Central and welcome back to another video. Now today we're taking a look at the new voice assistant features coming soon to Xbox One. So Microsoft is currently testing a new feature with Xbox Insiders that allows them to use their Alexa or Cortana based voice assistant devices with the Xbox One. So no longer do you have to use the Connect or dedicated headset to activate the voice commands on Xbox. You can use an Amazon Echo device or some Alexa based device or a Cortana based device that you've already got lying around somewhere. Uh, all you have to do is hook up your Xbox to it and you should be good to go. And hooking it up is quite easy. We just jump into settings here. And then from there you go to digital assistance and enable this box. Uh, and then you just jump over to whatever digital assistant you're using, install the Xbox skill and you should be good to go. So if we jump back to the dashboard here, you'll see that at the top right, Xbox is telling me that I do not have a microphone in use on this Xbox. And that's correct. I don't have a headset plugged in. I don't have a Kinect plugged in. There's no way for this console to hear me. So in our demo, we're using the Harman Kardon Invoke. This is a Cortana based speaker and you can talk to it and stuff and it can play music. It's pretty great. It's just like an Echo device. If you've ever seen all the Alexa devices before, it's basically that, but using Microsoft's Assistant instead. And so what we can do now here is we can shout at it Xbox commands. Now how it works is since it's technically acting as a pass through, we have to shout the hey command, tell Xbox to do whatever it is you want to do on Xbox. So for example, hey Cortana, tell Xbox to launch Halo the Master Chief Collection. Starting Halo the Master Chief Collection. And there you go. Now you saw on the top right there, the Cortana UI on Xbox actually popped up. And that's because it's using the same sort of system to activate these voice commands. And it works quite nicely. Hey Cortana, tell Xbox to go home. Understood. So any connect based voice command works using this method. Hey Cortana, tell Xbox to go to my games and apps. Okay. And there you go, there's my games and apps. Hey Cortana, tell Xbox to go to the Microsoft Store. Sounds good. Starting Microsoft Store. And it works just like that. It's pretty simple. It is a little bit slower than the native based commands that you could use through Connect. Um, however, if this is definitely preferred if you haven't got a Connect anymore since you upgraded to the Xbox One S or One X, you now get those voice commands back. And it's great if you have an Echo or something lying around, you can now use it as the voice command feature on Xbox, which is great. So let's try it again. Hey Cortana, tell Xbox to invite Jez to a party. Inviting Jess Corden to party. And there you go, he's now being invited to a party. I don't know if he's online, so he might join me, he might not, I don't know. Either way, he can't hear me because I don't have a web, a, a microphone plugged in. So that's one of the things, you can't use these speakers as a microphone for party chat, that's not how it works. The commands are being sent to the cloud and back to the Xbox. It's not being directly fed through the Xbox, so everybody needs to... So you can't use it for that, you still need to plug in a headset if you want to talk to people in a party. Uh, let's leave this party here. Can I leave the party using voice commands? Let's find out. Hey Cortana, tell Xbox to leave the party. Inviting Jess no. Corden to party. <laughs> That's not what I asked, let's try again. Hey Cortana, tell Xbox to leave the party. Inviting Jess Corden to the party. <laughs> okay, now Jess just received 800 uh, thingies from me. There we go. So there you go, that's how it works. It's pretty great. Hey Cortana, tell Xbox to see who's online. Inviting that's, not Jess <laughs> to party. that's not what I said. Okay, so it's not perfect, I'll be honest. Uh, let's leave the party again. Hey, uh, hey Cortana, tell Xbox to go home. Understood. Okay, so it hasn't just assumed I want to invite Jez everywhere. Hey Cortana, tell Xbox to go to Game Pass. Inviting Jez 
Inviting Jess Corden. <laughs> what? That's not what I said. Okay, I think it might have gotten stuck, assuming that I'm... Okay, weird. Okay, that's weird. Hey, Cortana, tell Xbox to go to settings. Okay, so it's Starting settings. kind of working. I don't know what's going on. Hey, Cortana, tell Xbox to go to the store. <laughs> okay i think mine's stopped working but there you go you have a, you get a basic idea of how it works you can basically use any connect based voice command uh through your amazon alexa or cortana based voice assistant speaker device things now which is pretty great so there you have it guys that's a quick look at the new voice assistant features coming soon to xbox one thanks so much for watching and i shall see you in the next one bye bye